Hey, welcome back to the Schmitty 750 YouTube channel. Today we have a lift kit that we're going to be installing on a uh, Kawasaki Mule Pro FXT. And the lift kit is going to be this Rough Country Bracket lift kit. Just comes with uh, back brackets and front brackets and all of your hardware right here. Pretty simple and it should be a nice easy install. So we'll just start out removing these wheels. This is going to be a 17 millimeter impact or uh, impact socket. Next is going to be removing these shock mounts right here. And that's going to be 17 millimeter also. There's a little nut on the back that you're going to have to hold back up on. Oh, that was on there. So save this, this hardware for later. Okay, so the two front brackets look exactly the same. So those will be the ones you use on the front. The two back brackets, this one will be in the front part of the back. And this one will be the one with the Rough Country or the RC. That one will be in the back of the back, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we got the first mount right here ready to go in, or first bracket, and then we'll use a washer and some of their supplied hardware. And this bracket will go on the outside of the shock mount. We'll just kind of barely get it started in there because you have this little spacer that's gonna go where the shock tower used to be. So we got that all lined up and I just started it through that back bracket and now we'll slide the back this piece goes on the back and still same as the front goes on the outside of the original shock mount just get your holes lined up We'll push our bolt in and then they give us oh I need my other washer so I'll put my other washer on the back and then they give us a uh, a lock nut which we're just putting that on handy we'll leave it loose until the other side is made up all right so same thing over here on the passenger side got their supplied bolt that they give us We'll go in here, get just started, and then we'll put our spacer in. And then we'll bring this back bracket up. And we get our next washer and lock nut. So then this will be where our new shock mount is and we'll get our original bolts and we'll just get them made up loose. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So it says their hardware is gonna be 18 millimeter, but actually it is a 19 millimeter. That 
one tight first and then that one tight second and I'll go tighten down the other side. Well, it's a good problem to have. The uh, I didn't lift it up enough to be able to get the tires back on when the lift was on, so I've had to jack it up with my floor jack, readjust this, and now pick it up because my floor jack doesn't go high enough. Okay, so that's all we got. <laughs> Just barely. Okay, now I've got the back jacked up and I got it jacked up a little higher. So I don't run into the same issue and uh, run out of room to put the back tires on. So now we'll get these off and it will be the exact same thing. We'll just pull this bolt loose, pull that bolt loose over there, move the shock out of the way, put both the brackets on with the new hardware and then use the original hardware to mount the shock in the new spot. So there is an O2 sensor right here where the wire is mounted. And there's a connector right here. But this plate does have some cutouts for it. So let's see if that'll go in. without having to pull these off. Okay, so I'm gonna have to pull this, this one off. Okay, so that connector is off. Now we'll see if this goes in.
Okay, so this was the original mount right here. You see how the shock is kind of laying, wanting to go that direction. It's a little stiff. So just have to kind of apply a little pressure down on your spindle or your brake rotor and get this guy to line up. So that's all the hardware tight. Got the fancy little rough country sign and the connector back here. That is stuck back in. And the O2 sensor wire right here is no longer hung up behind the, uh, the front part of the back bracket. So now we just gotta put our wheels back on. turned out pretty good that is way better than I thought it would be uh, I'll just have to ride around and see how it rides see if it rides a little rough or any more rough than what it used to ride because they ride like a Cadillac and uh, so I think that claims that it's a two inch lift and they are what is it 10.2 I think is the factory ground clearance so we're looking at like four to five inches of lift that's a uh, pretty significant. So I'm going to go ride it around, see if it settles down. So I used to bottom out on this little bump right here, which is very, very small. It's 16 and a half inches in the front. Supposed to be 10.2. It's 10.25, I guess. 10 and a quarter. And you said it's what? 16 what? 16 and a half. That's 13 and a half in the back. But I also have fuel in the back, so. So that is the three inch rough country lift kit using just brackets, no control arms. And it is noticeably sitting higher so now i gotta get bigger tires so it doesn't look all goofy but it's six inches higher in the front and four inches higher in the back so i guess now it's just gonna have that weird truck the truck look that those kids do these days with the squat in the back and i don't know maybe i can turn these up maybe i can turn this little suspension knob up and get it maybe just sit a little higher in the front or maybe even turn the front down just a little bit and uh 
because I do do some towing with this thing so it wouldn't hurt to stiffen it up in the rear and that actually might be why it's squatting a little bit in the back but anyway that's the install for the three inch rough country lift brackets and thanks for watching bye